when the patients reach at Carl Huchner, then we can refer them nowhere else. We have to do the job. And all we are asking, if we are going, if you are, if, if Carl Huchner is going to agree to take on this responsibility for the Ministry of Health, for the nation, then take us into consideration. You have this, is, this impending new virus coming to our nation. And you are listening to the news, you are watching the news, you are seeing it, how it's coming, creeping, creeping. And you know, in this institution, you have the team of the highest level experienced staff from the domestic up have more expertise in whatever area they do. During the SARS in, 2003, in 2003, a Mennonite house was bought and placed right opposite Carl Huchner. It was an isolation area close to Carl Huchner, but far away from Carl Huchner, in, not in, in house, right? So when we heard that they wanted to bring the patients in house Carl Huchner and the area they were designating it, and all who work here know what it entails, putting that area there, the employees started, no, how can that be, why? Then you hear this, you hear that, you hear the, the DHS saying something, then you hear something else here. It. So we were asking a question, why, why, why are we taking this responsibility? Okay, we will, but compensate us for the extra mile that we are going to go through. Let's plan something for the nation, it's coming. We don't know at what level we will reach it, but we cannot put the only national tertiary referral hospital for the public in jeopardy by putting the isolation unit in within the hospital. Get a Mennonite house probably outside, right? Our prayer for release was sending that message to them. Let's bring all who are on the ground to the table here and find how we can find a solution that will work for the nation. The union position in reference to the use of Carl Huchner to isolate or see patients diagnosed or with symptoms of coronavirus is no. This, this is not about Carl Huchner, this is about the nation of Belize. Can the country of Belize afford for the National Referral Center being quarantined for one day, two days, or three days because this, there's a widespread of COVID-19 amongst the staff and other patients within this institution because once we have a widespread among staff, they will quarantine Carl Hushner. If we at Carl Hushner become patient, who will be on the front line for the um, National Referral Center? To your question, yes, I have been, we have been in the um, prepared isolated room. I am saying it is not the type of facility that would be needed for the coronavirus isolation patients. First of all, let's look at the roof or the ceiling. The ceiling is porous. You need a non-porous ceiling. All the fixtures, like fixtures and stuff, must be properly sealed. The doors must be self-sliding door in a, isolate, in a negative pressure room. The doors that are presently there, all the doors, are those that I, after I go in and take care of that patient and get contaminated, I will have to put my hands on those doors. Somebody else come and put their hands on those doors. N furthermore, the doors are not sealed. In other words, the virus, bacteria, will flow under the door into the corridors and innocent staff and other patients that has nothing to do with the care of these um, patients will get sick. No, no, no to coronavirus patient isolation in Kalishna. The country, the people of this nation cannot be put at risk for not having the tertiary level care that they need. In other words, they are not considering the people with the diabetes, the people that God forbid that they don't have traffic accident. We have been playing to the um, gun gang gun. rival people to so please ease down with the gun and um, violence. And we cannot stop them. So when they get shot and Carlos goes on, where will they go? They cannot go to Southern Regional because Southern Regional normally sends them to us. They cannot go to Northern Regional because we are the National Referral Center. Hence I'm saying to the powers that be, rethink, find somewhere else to do your critical care. There are portable um, um, ventilators, there are portable oxy oxygen and stuff. You can create an environment for that. I can give a proposal. They can close down Cleopatra White Health Center. 
and use it. It's a controlled environment. They have gates and stuff like that. Who goes in and who comes out? Um, so I'm saying to them again, no to Carl The staff of Carl is saying no. Why put our lives at risk? <laughs>